now have a piece of paper. It's so much easier to sell a piece of paper than to sell everything else. And you sell that, you can go to somebody and say, I've got a house, you will own it, you can move into it, enjoy it, it'll be your best Christmas present. And we can, I get 15, $20,000, I'll finance that for you, you work out that arrangement. And they step into your shoes in the contract, they, they move into the house, they have to make the payments, but they also have a separate note with you, the assignment fee. Okay, and so now you just made money by finding a deal, locking it up and remarketing it. That's called arbitrage. Okay. Imagine you did this with a million dollar property, a $500,000 contract uh, condo. What is that worth for somebody that you know how to find a deal you know how to negotiate and lock it up and then remarket it to a family that needs a home but doesn't qualify right now, but they have some cash. Yeah. And you, you know, or, or another investor who's looking for a property they can sublet or rent to own. And you give it to them in a nice, neat little package with a bow on top and you sell it to them for cash or, or, fi or you finance it a thousand. How about 15,000, a thousand a month for 15 months? Who would like an, an extra thousand dollars a month coming in? Right. Yeah. This yeah. is the so, art. This is what our, our, our president uh, wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. This is mm -hmm. the art of real estate. Yeah, absolutely. This so so you, I know you said for, for, for uh, 15,000. And so one of my rules and probably yours as well is, you know, I never start at my number. No. <laughs> I would have, I would have taken ten. Uh, for, exactly. you know. if, if he would, if he would have, if he would have said, "Look, I can't, I can't give you twenty thousand, but I can give you X, whatever." I know what my number is, and if he says yes to twenty thousand, I just, I was just five thousand dollars ahead. So, just so you guys know, that's an, that's an all the time technique. Like I never start at my number, and you guys shouldn't either. No. You can always go. You can always go down, but you can't go back up, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. You can't go back up. Hey, you guys, uh, Claude. Thank you so much, man. We, Welcome. you know, you, you you are just amazing. Uh, the the system that you that you created is just it's life changing, and and you know, I'm sure you hear that a lot about you know, and uh, you're always very humble about that, but. Man, it's, it's done so much for so many people and it's really provided a way for us to change our lives and, you know, put money in, our, in, in you know, into our families and, and do some things like that. So I don't know if, you know, we let you know enough how much we appreciate you, but oh, thank you. Uh, know for sure that, you know, you are a gift. Uh, thank you. That's really sweet of you. Um, Absolutely. I, I just, I just know that my life changed Mm -hmm. Because I, where everybody has been right now with the struggling, with the, the phone is a cactus, uh, the rejection, every, where everybody has been, it's, believe me, it's not you. We all go through it. I went through it. I, I call myself the former world's worst salesperson. Okay. <laughs> I hate it. I, I would go clean ba the bathroom before I want to make another phone call. I disliked it so much. Yeah. But once you master the art and science of persuasion, that's the key here. We all work on all the other stuff. Yeah. You know, we all work on all, all the uh, other things. And they're good, too. This is some important things. Uh, the CRMs and the, and the marketing, you know, that's all good stuff. But, yeah. the, we, but the one reason we're all in business is to make money today. And that comes back to your persuasive skill sets. Yeah. Getting another human being to say, man, I like this guy. I trust this guy. Let's just do this. You make it so emotional that they say yes. In yeah, one phone call, believe it or not, you can close people or at least get another appointment in mm -hmm. one phone call. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, and that should that should be the goal, right? To to sharpen your skill set to the point at which you're confident going in on one phone call that you can accomplish what you need to accomplish to move you towards that deposit. Yeah. It's, it's the, um, the level of confidence. It's, uh, you've got to go out there and say, okay, nobody sits in judgment of me. I, I don't, mm -hmm. only, I sit in judgment of myself. If someone doesn't like me or reject me, okay, that's not who I am. That's right. the, they don't have the right to dictate the course of my life. It just means that I got the wrong person on the wrong day and I didn't have the right tools for them. But the next person could be that person that makes it the best Christmas you've ever had in your life. Mm. Absolutely. Justin you, you just gotta, put a golden nugget into the into the, the YouTube uh, chat. He said, stop letting the phone kill your dreams. There's someone right now today 
who has a problem in real estate. We are the doctors of real estate. Mm -hmm. And we have to approach people like that doctor analogy I always talk about. We mm -hmm. have to go where the doctor goes, why are you here? Where does it hurt? Uh, what do you mm -hmm. do for a living? The doctor does ask questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, salespeople feel don't. Found. Feel felt found. I'm sorry? Uh, he said, feel felt found, you know, and I'm sure you've heard that before. That's you know, Yeah, that's... what you did with Victor was feel felt found mm -hmm. on, the, the, on the role play. Yeah. yeah, be the doctor, Brett. I mean, say, gee, where, Victor, what's the problem here? Where does it hurt? Yeah. You know, uh, gee, why, oh, you sure you want to do this? And that forces him to justify. But now, see, we can turn the prospect. This is the dark. This is the little secret before we go here. Uh -huh. You can make the prospect become the salesperson. They'll do all the work. You can sit back and drink coffee and have a ball, take a few notes down, and now you know exactly how to create an emotional aura, how to close them up front. So, Mr. Walker, if we could find a way to sell your property and get your full price, and you and your wife could live happily ever after, you'd never have an, another eviction, you wouldn't have to deal with tenants and turlets anymore, I, I don't suppose if you found that solution, you wouldn't be able to take an action today, though, right? Oh, yeah, I absolutely would. Really? OK, boom. So now I went I did a, a opposite redirection there. I went negative. Mm -hmm. He went positive. Mm -hmm. He justified mm -hmm. his. He made a commitment. Did everybody hear it? Yeah. And, and I saw the picture that you drew that, that, that you created. You know, I was in that picture like you know, my problems were solved. I didn't have this stress. I was with my wife. I, you know, I'm proud of myself for making this brilliant decision, you know, and honey, you should reward me because, you know, I'm a brilliant business person and I <laughs> did this myself. <laughs> you make, you see, if we make it emotional enough, yeah. if we get into their head and paint that picture of that sizzling steak with the grilled onions on top and and that mm. smell, okay, I hope there's no vegans in the audience, um, uh, you know, and you're think, and you, you paint that picture in their mind, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you're, man, that's, that you have, you're a, pers you're a persuader now. Mm -hmm. You are an influencer. Mm -hmm. You are a person who has changed the whole dynamics of selling and yeah. you're in, t and you're in control. And when you have those, when you do things like that, you get a lot better conversations yeah. yeah, you get, a, you know, enjoyable and you get a little bit more motivated. What yeah. Jose, I think, was asking and you close a lot more deals. Yeah, absolutely. I'll go now. I'm sorry if I took over like I always do. But yeah, you always say you're sorry and we're never sorry. Just so you know, <laughs> you guys are Thank great. You. Everybody Thank be so safe. Much, Claude. Take care, everybody. <laughs>